this, how he just finds the back of the ball so well, creates a lot of spin. Oh, and hang on. What a touch here to start his day at the first with Scheffler. Time playing this event, he may have thought it was great. Scheffler. Scheffler is massively improved. His strokes gained with that club right there. And look at this, an absolute bomb. And he can get his wedges moving from left to right if he needs to. So use the wind, use the slope of the green. Oh, and maybe just that additional yardage closer. Just outside 20 feet for birdie. made a bunch of those last year on his way to victory here. The first of the four. So par for Scotty. Uh, you said it. We're going to see a driving display between these guys today. Yeah, let's go, Scotty! Didn't leave anything behind there. Ooh, 304. Okay. This pin position just on the top level, 26 paces on. He was going at this shot. You can see the speed losing it right. Rom is slightly straighter. Scheffler for birdie, the defending champ. There's not a wrong answer in this conversation. Right. You got that right. You told me mine was. <laughs> <laughs> Tougher day than normal. Okay, opportunity missed though. That's going to feel like a bogey apart here at the third hole. Our tracing. Yeah, TrackMan technology presented by the new Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X, the number one ball in golf. Oh, this oh. is buried. And that is incredible from Scheffler. Mm. Oh. Oh, it can't be short. It, that just can't happen. Get out of here. Wow, that is, if you let him hit it over again, he might do it again. That's just a tease the whole way down. Up the left side. Oh, and a huge kick. What did that hit? The back of an armadillo or something. Wow. Gap wedge in here to the fifth from 485 yard par four. Another gigantic bounce. Back at five, 14 feet away, Scheffler. Almost the identical putt we saw from Victor Hovland. Oh. Different result. Last year, he'll, he made six putts over 20 feet around here. I mean, early today. Here's the day. Defending champ, tee shot on the way at the sixth. That wind you can see blowing hard from the left. You're gonna hang on it. Scheffler for birdie at the sixth. Get it there. Oh. One in a playoff here last year. Good number of playoffs at this event through the years. 20 of them. 20 playoffs. That's amazing. Has joined our featured group this afternoon. Hey, Colin. Well, judging by the balance there for Scotty Schefter, he has tried, <laughs> lost this one a little bit short. And that, in fact, is going to come <laughs> off the front of that green with that false front. Wow, he was off balance. <laughs> Ever 
look back on your life and think this little thing didn't happen here. Yeah. Ifs and buts. In fact, don't. I know no. my wife does. <laughs> I tell you what, for as much movement that he has, he hits the center of the club face a lot. Challenging that left. Oh, and that, that is a tremendous break. Kicks <laughs> off the tree. And out of the left. Starting to fade that way. Yeah, well done. Played for the big first bounce. Navigate Tom Kim around here, but there is no substitute for experience as we watch Scheffler now. Oh boy, that looked good. Just tickled the right edge. Yeah, as Steve said, similar wind, similar hole direction. Just got to try and avoid those bunkers down the right hand side. And this may need a good kick left. And it gets it. Not as far Okay, just avoids that. Temperature starts to fall here. Tough. Tough. Yeah, great shot. Hey, boy. That'll work. <laughs> Not a lot in this one here for Scotty Scheffler. If anything, I've got this one with the wind just falling right at the very end. And I apologize, that's a misread on my point. Well, he didn't get it there anyway, so you never know if it will go in or not. Scheffler not going to hit it through the fairway. Oh, boy. That's, okay, that's going to be all right, but he's going to be way back. They may have nestled in a little depression. Well, he's staring down 199 yards from off the gravel here. I don't know what kind of tee shot he hit there. But now to this back pin location. He's got to be careful not to go long or left. And that is headed exactly there. That is going to be a tricky one. Yeah, you watch him try and cut the legs out of this one. A real seething action. Tasty. Very good. Enough room there. We've seen most everybody actually make par from over there. There's plenty of room. This from the opposite direction should just wiggle just a touch to the right. In an effort to try and stop this one moving from right to left. Absolutely perfect. That was a great call, Colin. That was beautifully done. Exactly what he did through the ball. Be the first time this week that he's in the red figures. So look out for him. Here comes the defending champ. Now four off the lead. The 12th. Wind predominantly down and off the right hand side. This not necessarily the best strike. Sound a little bit clunky. Oh, Tracing technology that. is provided by Trackman. And you're right, Colin, that's going to funnel all the way back. Easy. Okay. Did very well not to get <laughs> into that penalty area. It's all uphill. Got to hit it, Scotty. I thought we were having a technical glitch there, Colin. <laughs> I tell you what, it is. this sun is going down fast. Ooh. Okay. Make sure you can get home in two. Really, the first swing of the day. That's a good one right there. This is not that cold when you carry it 297 <laughs> yards. Scotty Scheffler for the first time in his PGA Tour career attempting to defend a title. This pin position directly in the middle of this green. This is a great angle for Scheffler. Only 229 yards. Oh, what a shot. Excellent that for Eagle for Scotty Scheffler. He's got a good gauge of the speed after seeing Hovland. Has he got the read right? Oh, he, he had it. <laughs> he sure did. 
it could be the difference between winning and finishing 10th. Yeah, and now you get to go stand on the corner of the green, watch the other guys grind it out, and hit a draw off the team. Sort of changes everything, and he went for a holding draw. It curved three feet. Sorry, four feet. Well, it's a little unclear how fair golf would be if Scotty Scheffler can hit a draw. <laughs> Let's see if someone can find this green in regulation. Great line. Great shot. There we go. Really Scheffler delivering here at 14. And that is the best shot we have seen for quite some time. If someone can, it's this guy. No, not yet. We had Hovland miss on the right side. Scheffler missing from the other side of the hole. We have seen no one find this fairway. So difficult with that wind coming off the left. Really, the middle of the fairway is pretty much the right rough. Yeah. Hold on. That's good. Now at 15, Scotty Scheffler's third. This is that fairway that Ted Scott was talking about. Just a low skitter up that slope. And then you have to read the break. And from Scheffler's... Scotty Scheffler for birdie. Be a little bit careful here because it does run away past the hole. <laughs> Fair enough. Here's Scheffler with the valley on his left. Makes his par. And with that pin position in the shadow, it's easy to leave it short. Just under 27 feet here. Fairly straight, slightly right to left. I mean, how do you get the on-core performance? The, the expectations have got to be sky high, don't they? And there's that added pressure from yourself and everyone else. It's going to be difficult to, to repeat what he did last year. Hey, get yourself a snack right back out there, boys. Go at 9.33 Mountain Time. Here's Scheffler at 17. On a good line. Left side of the green here. Can it hold? Easy. Easy. Okay. Scotty Scheffler is on the dance floor. Scotty Scheffler on the green here off the tee. Chance for Eagle. Just under 80 feet. And I can tell you, BK, if he was a foot further, the three putt percentage from over 80 feet, 52%. Get to three under. Come on, Scotty. Great putt. I didn't want him to be a statistic here. Wind direction's kind of into, but laid down. 304 yards to cover the pond up to the left. This up the right. And by right, I mean right center of the fairway. Not a bad miss. Defending champ, Scotty Schiffler. Yeah, just like his playing partners there. Got a flag he wants to totally attack. Yeah, there we go, a little ground hook. You see how the pros do it. They don't fire every flag, and rarely they fired any flags, to be honest. They're always aiming a touch right or touch left. Picked up his first win a year ago in a playoff here. Just to get to four under and two back. Not too dissimilar of a putt that he had to win, and that one, not the same result. So that first title defense is off to a nice start. Scotty Scheffler getting his second round underway. That's some smooth footwork from Scotty right there. That one. Scheffler back at the 10. Talking about hard bounces, every bounce we've seen here has skipped forward. And there's another. Just a little bit of a downslope before that hole location. And Scotty Scheffler, birdie effort at the 10. Down the hill, falling to his left. Not far enough left. Par for Scotty. Hey. 
Yeah, needs to get down. Firm fairway. Set. Any time now? Okay. <laughs> Second for Scotty Sheffield. Flirting with that penalty area. You can see a bunch of a hold finish right there, trying to carve it back into the wind. And you see how much softer that ball lands with a fade motion versus a draw motion? Great opportunity here. Another one slides by. Par for Scheffler stays at three under. Back behind him. Scotty Scheffler trying to avoid frustration here at 12. Oh, on a fantastic line. Oh, beautiful here from Scheffler. Nearly a carbon copy of Tom Kim just before him. And another opportunity at 12 for Birdie. Ahead to 12, great tee shot for Scotty Scheffler. He can get to four under. I think he makes this. He just saw Tom Kim, yes. What a birdie. He drove it almost 300 yards in the air when <laughs> it was might, freezing out. Yeah, this might be a carbon copy here, John. And there's the good bounce. Trying to hit a high cut three iron from 259 yards. Well, that's coming out low and right. Watch this. He's going to hit a low skipping fizzer. Release out. Mm, too much fizz. Not too bad, though. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, that's going to drive you crazy. He did not see that coming. One back. Scheffler, most improved. Well, he almost got the helicopter. I was going to say, most improved strokes gain off the tees. Moved up 33 positions from last season. Back at 14, we'll see if Scheffler can hit one in there as good as his fellow competitors. Scheffler way down here. Only 148 yards remain. Trackman technology is presented by the new Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X, the number one ball in golf. Scheffler heard that roar after Rahm holding that bunker shot. You know, something special happened. Let's see if he can create something here. Scheffler's fancy footwork looks like it paid off there. Just right side of the fairway, in the position. Wow, lit. Had the, the kids say that. Scotty Scheffler is two shots off the lead. Going for the green at 15. Easy. Oh, we're going to have to get a visual there. That was heading straight at those left greenside bunkers. Scheffler, 15, same bunker Rom just hold out of. He was lucky to catch this bunker. Now take advantage. Can he do what Rom did? Oh. Double bogey bogey through 11-12. Got all those shots back already. Scheffler for birdie at 15. And the frustration builds. Scheffler's left a. Right, our crew on the ground telling us the wind just picked up hard from left to right. You can see the American flag over on the right-hand side of the screen. We'll see if Scheffler can figure it out. He likes to move it from left to right. Look at him trying to fashion a little fade into this whole location. It's on a good line. Oh, oh he figured it out. And then some. Do it! Easy. Whoa. Oh, this Dude. is going to go off the green. You are kidding. Somebody just turned on the wind machine at no. 16. That ball was 10 inches at one point. See it just bobbled right off the putter there, and sometimes that's what you get. You, know, you can't 
obviously mark it and clean it when it's on the fringe. So maybe sitting in a small depression or just enough to knock it offline. A man that has plenty of firepower. And look out, this is on a fantastic line. Straight into the middle of the green. Great shot from Scheffler. The Trackman Technologies is presented by the new Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Back at 17, Scotty Scheffler to tie for the lead. Outside opportunity for Eagle here, 64 feet on a great line and great touch here. I think he'll be able to get that one to go. Back at 17, not much left here for Scotty Scheffler to get to five under. Okay, I was a little nervous there. I'd already given him that putt. Well, that looked like he reared back for a little extra there. Wow, that is miles. 303 carry. Great shot from John Rahm, a chance to take the lead alone. Scotty Scheffler is one back right now at 18. Scheffler, birdie at 17, trying to double up here. Over to 18. Look at the short putts for Scotty Scheffler. 11 inches, two feet. Here's one from 23 feet. You said it, BK. That's his range. Scheffler's tied for the lead. He finally makes one. That blimp may not have cameras in it. Here's Scheffler on two at one. Long Island, I am all that is needed for Scheffler. He hits this thing an absolute mile, 289 yards, 159 yards. Beautiful angle here. Work something in for him, a little left to right to this whole location. It's on a good line. Straight at it. And here we go for Scheffler to get within one. And Scotty Scheffler is heating up. So a very different hole today. Straight down wind left to right yesterday. This is going to play a lot longer. First things first out of a fairway bunker, make sure you take enough loft to get it up over the lip, but he's only got a wedge here. It's 140. Scotty Scheffler. Beautiful. Scotty Scheffler to tie the lead. This stroke is so pure. He saved so many strokes with that club right there. Scotty Scheffler, co-leader on the tee at the par five. Very reachable here. He's got to be in the fairway. The bunkers down the left. Oh, no. And that sat down. Look at that. That looks like it's an old pitch mark. You're almost a forgotten man. The last year, this is where it all started for him. The run of wins. This is a long third shot to have into the par five. Yeah, he got some really bad luck, Frank, and actually plugged into the fairway bunker and could only advance it to about, give him a 190-yard shot into that green. That's a fantastic shot from that distance, from that line. On a big-time run right now. Pretty good opportunity, considering the third shot he had. All right. Stay right there in his share. We're going to give this to him. Taylor made for Scotty. Turning right to left, though. That will be a challenging little chip down the hill. That will be a quick one. At the fourth, Scheffler. A little bit of work left for Paul. No problem there. Gonna get that putter going. Obviously, he's putting well this week. 
This one started over the left rough, practically in the brown rough. Cutting back should be good. Set a cut. So see those firmness. I mean, got another 40, 50 yards out of that yeah. pitching on the downslope. Just flipping a sand wedge into this hole, guys. There's nothing out here right now, wind wise. 126. Looks in the groove, Aaron. Oh, yeah, it's just uh, one step after the other. He's not thinking about it, anything but the shot in front of him. For sole possession. Oh, that wasn't the read. Stress free. Scotty Scheffler for the outright lead. And this is his range tonight. He never had a chance. This has been an entertaining for us, Brian, round of golf and when he finished off his first round earlier. So I'm sure they're going to be told here to speed up. Yeah, and Sheffield plays fast. Watching it anxiously. Oh, and he covers that bunker. Wow. That's a little 311 yard carry there on that line. After some deliberation and some wind changes, they finally figured out a club. This from 117. This looks really good if it's the number, Kurt. It's the number. Good call, Aaron. Scheffler tied for the lead right now, but he's got that. With this man, Scotty Scheffler. Just tapping in for his birdie there at the sixth. Scheffler doing a great job of defending his title here last year. Eight iron, 188. Really difficult flag to get to over there on that left-hand side, trying to draw it in. Yeah, that's a smart play, Frank. I don't think you can mess around with it, especially with it downwind now. now. Right to left, coming back up the hill here, Frank. See some long putts at the seventh. Homa, one of them. Update is number 168. So he ties the low round of the tournament, 65. Got it too hot. Take this wind, uh, I guess, too seriously and too, take too much club and get over this flag. That's not, that's a bad spot. Just at the left edge of the green. Safe, though. This group, uh, Kurt, is officially on the clock with one hole to go. Frank, just avoid the bunkers down the right. And you know what? He might just shoot that 65 you're talking about, Frank, if he can avoid those bunkers down the right. No, he wants birdie 64. There you go. That's just a hard nine iron. Falling right on it. Right on it. Brilliant round, bogey three. 64. I'd say it's not quite as good as the 62 he shot last year on Saturday, but just as important. 31st career bogey free round for Scotty Scheffler. Solid tee shot to open up. This is from 159. Birdie putt here. Sheffer will tap that in, make his par, move on to the second. 
Our lead group is on two. Back into the breeze. The first hole down one wasn't easy for all three of them. Let's go get it started around here. Oh, we got a good kick out, Dottie. Yeah, needs a good weekend. How's this lie here, Dottie? Just barely got room for the toe of the club to stay Dottie, away from the edge of the desert and where the turf meets. Not bad from that lie. He would have so, been firing from the middle of the green. It's actually a bit of a bad break where it ended up. Quiet, confident. Just always there. How about this one? And it's a birdie for Scheffler at the second. Don't make this one sail, Dottie. It's sailing, but it's sailing right. She got lucky on the previous hole. Keep it right. Here we go. Yep, correct. Coming down on that. Boy, this could have been a little more prickly over at the third. Scheffler balls tee shot bounced back, Dottie. Oh, yeah. He took a long time to make this club selection, had a long iron in his hand for a very long time and decided to hang, lay up. Hang tight, guys, hang tight. We sent Cole and Amanda to the wrong hole. Let's go to three. And Scheffler, third shot away. Trying to use the slope, Frank. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it, Donnie. Look at that. As well. when you thought he could steal birdie birdie through two and three thankfully he had the big lead he, he could have he could have stayed there a while longer and still won <laughs> so just a five just think how fast you can cut around the course you don't even have to wait to oh, see it actually <laughs> touch the surface a good line yes. that's exactly where it landed and it rolls out. Back to Scotty. Is that one coming back? He's he's missed a few fairways. One left, one right, now another left. Gap wedge in his handy and good lie. Left side of the camera tower is the line. Just didn't fly onto the surface, so left himself a little short. Long birdie range putt here up the hill left to right for Chef. Especially if you fade it. Correct. Should be nothing to worry about there. Well, maybe a little sand. There is nothing in between him and the hole. Came out really low and just screaming, Frank. Yeah, that's not his ball flight. It was right in the teeth and it's done. Well, it's done well just to stay on the back of the green. And I would say, what's it going to do around the hole? How do I get it there? There's the ridge. Oh, he's done well. Done very well. Great two part, really, from 62 feet. So sheer flip. There's a little draw to it. There it is. It does. Get up and. You know, Donnie, to be precise, you said maybe an extra little yard or two off that 201 yardage to the front edge would be perfect, and you were right. Field proximity at around 47 feet. Scheffler has already made one bomb today. Woo! Almost a second one. No stress par at seven, which is plan is the second toughest hole in the golf course here in this third round. Yeah. 
That is absolutely perfect for our defending champion. Look for it close to the flag. Chased it really well and started on excellent line. Lovely rhythm there. All right, there's a chance to extend that lead. He's already three in front. Now, but it does tell you when you're that far under par on the fours how good your iron play is. Yep. He sure can't believe that. He's about to reach out and pick that up. Perfect speed. That wind should help him here to work his fade up against it. Absolutely. He's trying to hold its line, Trevor. Left half. He can lift. Okay. Two in a row. Oh, good. This one way up in the air, just left to start. Very nice. Oh, hi. A ball at the most, though. There's one, Trevor. Oh, no. No. That was the early call. The early call. I blame that on you, Jim Nance. Cursed him. Yeah. Sorry about that, Scotty. going to be right in view. Back to 10. Much better line for Scheffler. Just a flip from 71 yards. Got to get down. Oh, that's pretty good from there. I just love it, Frank, when it means something to be coming from the fairway. If he just put it okay, Frank, he's got a half a dozen shot lead. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird route, isn't it? Hasn't yeah. driven it good, but that's about the only thing. Such an important tee shot. It was so difficult the first couple of days. A couple dozen golf balls in the water each day and a great play there. Smart to go with three, which kind of shape it down there. Just get me in the right half. Just on the right edge in that uh, second cut. Full tilt. Just off the front edge, Donnie, not so bad. Longish, but a good leave. Speed's not scary. Yeah, well done. Good lag part. He leads the field in scrambling. We've seen more than 60 balls in the water here at the 11th so far this week. Good four. Trying to go back to back oh, here. Let's go, Adam! Let's go, Adam! The WM open. That's an eight iron, such a tough hole location here on the left. Everything goes away to the right. Yeah, that's going to peel off just a bit. Yeah, the thing that makes it so difficult is the players know they can't really miss left. It's well. Past 300, it lands on a little downslope. Starts left, not giving it up. Got past the bunker. Uh -oh. yeah. oh, if I can just stay on the back. Goes down there, this chip shot just gets a lot harder. Hopefully, it stays in the fairway now, even tougher. The drain, the immovable obstruction, but this has to come in from the high side left. That was a lot of golf ball. Frank grabs, needs to grab. Might run back. All right. And as you would expect, uh, Scotty not showing a whole lot of yay or nay about any of this. He's just Just 21 yards wide, the fairway up in the corner. Well, that's a better angle, but still in the rough on the side slope. About three yards 
Slides oh. uphill and the fan not helping. Ian. Right on the line. Wow. How good was that? That's a champion. What a way to fight back. Scheffler and Shoffley and Rahm all in that final group. Three of the top six in the world. Two of them with a chance to get to one. And it's a birdie for Scheffler here at 14. So we didn't see any all day, and then we see three in the last three groups. That is high and cutting right half. Might need a little bit of a bounce to hang in there. And that's serviceable for sure. Dry. Under, uh, I think, rated in this department. You mentioned what he did last year at Augusta. Which wasn't that. Yeah, but he's awfully good at it. You could hear the contact just bounced it into the ball there. Over to 15. This for a three shot lead again. Hold your head. I know the members at Royal Oaks Country Club are happy he's on the road because it's saving them some money. <laughs> oh, this one is out to the right. Even the Masters champ gets booed. <laughs> Good point. Um, I didn't make many, Jim. Uh, not true. Shuffler now. Of course, they're going to boo him because they really set the standard high. Well, no, they do not. Once again, you just got to tip your cap to the Thunderbirds. They just put on a heck of a party. Absolutely incredible. No hole in one this year, but certainly plenty of drama, especially here at the end of Scotty Shuffler. Well, that is a bullet left center of the green. Does it hang on? Settle down. It's on the green for now, but does it does it stay up top? Does it stay? Yes, it does. Putting for an eagle. John Rahm and Scotty Scheffler. Otherwise, a good solid day. And that's what champions do. Doesn't really suit his fade. Not, not so much. He really going to take on that bunker a little bit. Oh, he's gone for the draw. That's right on the button right there. What a tee shot that is. Wow. Gorgeous. Easy. Watching your every move now to close it with a birdie. Gonna turn. That was a good looking putt. By well, the way, sun sets officially at 6.08, so just a few minutes ahead of that. And that's 68 for Scotty today. And he'll have pole position going into Sunday and a chance again to be a repeat winner. Took a little while to figure it out, but boy, did he flush that one. Yeah, right in the middle. Well, that is a heck of a birdie from the fairway bunker. T to green. He's been the best in the field. Get a look at the ball flight. Trackman Tracer technology presented by T-Mobile for business. Going left. Huge double cross. Yesterday we went wide. So. It is downwind and kind of across from this angle, so he's got to be careful. He's going to cut it. He's got to cut it around that tree. Come out left. And that bounce back down into it, too. George, you have more on Scotty Shuffler? 
Sounded like good contact. That's really well done from there, Frank. Good chance. I know that's going to be quick, but. This final group. He did have the answer. He leads the field in strokes gained, approach and tee to green. This one drifting left a little bit. That's fine. Yeah, that's the fear of going long. Within three feet. Spotty part of his game at the moment. That looked like a smoother swing, flatter flight down the left hand side. Might need a bounce. Oh. It's not going to count as a fairway hit. Tracer by track, the man. The ball flight. Had to get down after that one. That one was sitting down a little bit. His arm play spot on. I mean, you can't aim it further left than that. No. Took the bunker out of play. And was there's more green around the back to use. Back to the fifth and Scotty Scheffler for birdie. Maybe a little bit on the upslope to begin, but uh, pretty flat from here on out. Ooh, that's, I might have to sit. Traveling, isn't that's it? has got to sit. Ooh, huge mistake from Scheffler. Where'd that wow. come from, Frank? A little bit of work? That's a lot of work. Yeah, oh, what yeah, a two putt. It was what Scotty Scheffler. Come on. What a two putt. Does anything phase this guy? That was incredible. No, he's leaning like this is another one pulled potentially. Not an easy fairway to hit right now. He could kind of almost hood it a little bit and kind of hook run it up that hill if he wanted to. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Come on. Kind of got up on him, I think. It that, did, yeah. yeah. It kind of floated up into that breeze. He's going to have to keep grinding. That might have, he might have seen exactly what I've always seen here. And... Yeah, confident stroke right in the middle. You're right, Terry. Game on. This is going to be a lot of fun. Scheffler. Distance control still good. A little unlucky catches that slope. Once again, smack bang in the heart of the green. Get in there. Get in there. Beautiful. Nothing to it. Those Ramas in the bunker. And Taylor's dead square in the center. And that is a rare sight for Scotty Scheffler to hit a fairway today. Scheffler for a two shot lead. Got to get there. Just not enough dig. So tap in for par here. Sheffield will stay at 15 under. It's not something he doesn't hit a fairway until the eighth hole, but he's still two under for the round. And you never know by his demeanor, not one sign of struggle. Well, he's got consecutive fairways now, eight and nine. And I said going for back to back, having won this tournament title. A year ago, his first. Rapidon! Very high starts right at Rom's ball. Oh, oh man, oh. right next to the cup. Just inside of Taylor. Back to nine. Pan oh. oh. right on top of him to go ahead and reclaim it. The lead by one, making the turn. 32 for Scotty. Trying to fight the breeze. 
That's fine, be a lengthy second. what a gap wedge is it sort of varies these days between 52 55 degrees and we're back Scheffler trying to defend his victory here last year right, that hole looks like it's cut with a little bit on the left edge height I'd like to hang right yeah, Jordan Spieth's putt certainly broke right yeah so comfortably too tied at 16 under but then there's a little bit of breathing room Fairway tilts that direction. Holding it off as well down the right side. Just being careful. Similar to yesterday. And we'll have a similar line to Nick Taylor's, just a little farther ahead. Narrowly missed a divot hole, but he's got just pitching wedge while sitting down a touch. Avoided the tree in front of him, got it up nice and high. Not a problem with the pitching wedge. Yeah, no problem there. Front right, pretty easy. Nice little layup. So that's pretty much right where Spieth was aiming. 11. This is one part of Scotty's game that he just doesn't get as much credit for. I, I think drives it great, irons are great, but that, those little chips, he's just exquisite. So Jeff and Taylor remain tied at the top at 16 under here at the 11th. Shouldn't be anything too crazy here. Breaking to his right the whole way down there. Jim, one of the reasons why I jumped up, my daughter lives very close to where Chelsea Football Club is. <laughs> and Sheffler is very close to making a three. But I can tell you, Ian, he walked to this tee with a lot more purpose. Well, he missed to the right here yesterday, and today this is way left. Needs a little luck. <laughs> oh, well, he got the luck now. Came out clean, high, just left of it. Turning left. Oh, no problems whatsoever. He said he beat that by June. Wow. He <laughs> is great around the greens. And immediately my mind jumps to that one he made at the third hole in the final round of the Masters. The Masters. Around here, he's not shy to talk about it either, what he did, storming through it. 14. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a great victory. That is right and falling a touch right. Started toward the tree line, missed needs a bounce. Oh, he's got another great break. That's three holes in a row. And it starts on a terrific line. Now starting to turn a touch left. Bunker bound. Mm. In a final round. 
It's not going to be a knockout, but it could be a two pop lead. Back at 15. Yeah, it's always been kind of a harbinger of what was to come, but not this year. All pars are going to be delivered here as long as we can get Taylor in the hole. And live, Schiffler. Had a nine iron on the way, riding the breeze to the left, Frank. And that's the area we talked about. Scotty Schiffler won't like a little stat about to say the last 25 years that a single champion has bogey the 16th hole. Second bounce got him right on the seam and it kicked forward instead of grabbing. But hasn't forgotten how to do it. Mammoth three. about club selection started back at the last green as soon as they hold out change the focus a little shot trace presented by track man there and that is perfect layup just off the right edge to the front left hole location can't be too aggressive with this one with water on the other side i would have thought five to ten feet short was a very good shot well played makes this he can play 18 any way he wants that's a birdie for Scheffler he's marching to the last hole and looks like defending in style we have seen that before Jim it's up above it is equally packed on the right just to see a people in the great that'll do certainly will by this goes at 64 by the way not too shabby. Scotty, they chant. Number one in the world. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.